Stay outside, I'ma open up a window And blow out the single Get the whole world hot Starting with my city What's up YouTube? Chef Hans here bring you another adults only CBD and cannabis product review. Let's have some fun guys. Get right into it. Today we're talking about Fern Valley Farms. All right. So this company is uh they're a company that kind of produce some stuff for like Tweedle Farms. Y'all know I love Mr. Tweedle Farms. Uh, some of their flour came from here, and now they're going out on their own and doing their own thing with their own flour. Uh, and they got some cool stuff, guys. They got a couple of products here that they sent me. So disclaimer, they did send me this product. I did not pay for it. I'm being transparent as I can with you guys. But I'm going to let you know right now, it's going to be an unbiased review. If this stuff sucks, you're going to know about it. I don't lie to my viewers. You will know the truth. So let's get right into it, guys. So they sent me four strains, okay? And a couple of these I've never had before, all right? Oh, two of them I've never had before, which is pretty exciting when I get something new that I've never seen or heard or yada, yada, yada. So let's get right into it. So, of course, everything came with your lab sheets. You want this. When you're getting hemp flour, you need this to prove that this is hemp flour. So when you're getting stuff shipped in the mail, you want this. You want your law enforcement form. You want discreet shipping. This was very discreet. It was vacuum sealed. No smells, no odors, nothing that screams out hemp. Very discreet. So let's talk about it. We're going to start with the first strain they sent us. Here's their packaging. Plain white mylar. It's called Sapphire. Never have had that before. Never even heard of Sapphire strain before. But Fern Valley Farms. I like, so they're in Oregon. And it says organic, organic hemp. Like organic, but in Oregon, organic. I like that. So let's talk about the Sapphire. All right, so it's saying it's coming in at 14.4% CBD. All right, this one has a 0.05% on the Delta 9 THC. So it's under that 0.3 federal limit, so you're good there. Uh, it's a federally legal product. Let's talk about the smell. We'll crack it open and smell it real quick. And I'm, so I'm smelling like a green tea with like this earthiness to it. Yeah, it's like a green tea, but it's got this earthy muskiness to it. Almost like a berry undertone. Very nice. It's not very loud smelling. It's very discreet smelling, but up close it smells good. I can't wait to smoke that. It smells very nice. Uh, almost like you would think a sapphire would be. All right, so the next strain we got here is the Rise Up. Okay. The Rise Up, I've only had one other time, so it's not a very, I don't know, maybe it is a very known strain. I've only had it once before. So this Rise Up is 21.4% CBD, guys. Holy cow, it's over 20%. Low Q on the Delta 9 THC. Let's go ahead and smell the Rise Up. So this one has like a kind of a cheesy musky on the nose. Kind of a, it's kind of that same green tea smell as well. But it's got this like cheesy muskiness underneath it. So that's pretty cool. That's a good smell of stuff. I can't wait to smoke the Rise Up. That smells like it's going to be awesome. All right, let's get on to the next one. We got Lifter, all right? Let's see if I can switch my page over here. All right, this Lifter's coming in 16.1% CBD, guys. We got a .09 on the Delta 9 THC. Again, under that .3. Let's talk about the smell. Crack it open. Oh. So this one's got this, like, sharp... Kind of musky, citrus berry type smell. Kind of like a... Oh, it's got these cheesy, musky undertones. And a sharp, real sharp, kind of citrusy smell. That, that's a good smelling lifter right there. I'm excited for that. I've had lots of lifter before. I love the effects of a good lifter. Very uplifting, uh, as the name implies. Uh, very good for daytime use. All right, last but not least, guys. It's called Bast. Is it called, is it pronounced vast or based? I'm not sure how that's pronounced. This one's coming in at 15.8% CBD. All right, and we got low Q on the Delta 9 THC. So that's, uh, that's good. That's perfect. So let's smell the vast, based, whatever it is. Oh, man. So this one kind of has like a, 
don't know, it's like a piney, kind of piney and citrusy, kind of earthy and musky, kind of sharp pine, something like that. We'll bring it down close. Let's take a look at all four of these strains. We'll smoke it off screen. We'll come back. We'll tell you about the effects. So Fern Valley Farms, guys, let's go on down low now. All right, guys. So here we are with the Sapphire uh, from Fern Valley Farms. Uh, this one's coming in, like I said, at 14.4% CBD. Got a 0.05% on the Delta 9 THC. And this is some cool looking flower, guys. Uh, they sent me one little nug. That's what this is. It was just one nug. This thing is dense, super dense. The smell I'm getting is like uh, green tea and candy. Look at the inside of that. Super frosted. Yeah, and as I open it up, it's it's kind of like a green tea and sweet candy is what I'm getting from the sapphire. Uh, super, super dense, guys. Very dense. I mean, this thing is... I mean, I'm squeezing it, and it's not giving it all. I mean, it's very dense uh, and very frosted, very nice looking. Looks like it was trimmed excellently. I like how well it was trimmed. Look at the fuzz on the uh, stem there. Isn't that crazy? But anyways, yeah, green tea and sweet candies with sapphire smells like. We'll come back and tell you about the effects. All right, guys, so here we are with the Rise Up from Fern Valley Farms. Uh, and this one's coming in at 21.4% CBD, guys. Wow. Uh, low Q on the Delta 9 THC. One nug again. Um, and again, pretty dense. Uh, nice, nice structure. Nice and coated. It's not like overly... Let's get you up close so you can see it. Nice trichome coverage. Look at the bottom of it there. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Yeah, this one doesn't really have a loud smell, guys. It's kind of um, kind of green tea, uh, kind of smell, but man, it is frosty as all get out. You got the burnt copper pistols all over it. Uh, so again, this is a good looking flower. We'll come back and tell you about the effects here in a minute. All right, guys, so here we are with the Fern Valley Farms. Uh, this is the Lifter. This one's coming in at 16.1% CBD. We got low Q, oh no, I'm sorry, we got 0 0.09 on the Delta 9 THC. And this bud's kind of purple. There's some purple tin tinges to it. Uh, you can kind of see through it right there. So some parts are denser than others, uh, but you can see the purple. And look at the trichome coverage all over that bud, guys. It's some good looking bud. This one's more purple. Very nice, very nice. We'll crack this bud open. See if we can get a good smell out of it. This one's got hints of like a sweet candy. Uh, I'm not really getting so much green tea on this one. This one's more kind of sweet and musky. See the inside there? Uh, kind of sweet and musky. Mild, mild on the uh, smell again, so it's not super pungent smelling uh but i bet the effects are going to be awesome look at that we'll come back and tell you about the effects here in a minute right, guys and last but not least here's the bast uh from fern valley farms uh this one's coming in at 15.8 percent cbd low q on the delta 9 thc let's get you up close again one dense nugget guys um good looking trichome coverage let's get you up close let you see it all up in personal Look at the bottom there. Looks like it's good, good trim job on this, for sure. Uh, very dense. Let's crack it open. Yeah, I was trying to crack the top of that one open there. Wow, see the coverage inside? It's got like a musky, funky, kind of cheesy smell to it with like a a slight pine or, or maybe a citrus. Uh, it's kind of astringent like that, the pine of the citrus. Uh, this one's a little more louder than all the other ones, guys. This one uh, smells much more pungent. I'm excited about this. Oh yeah, yeah, once you get into it, it it's like a pine or a citrus. Uh, this is very nice, guys. I can't wait to smoke this bass. We'll come back and tell you about the effects, but look at the coverage on this flower, guys. Wow. We'll come back and tell you about the effects here in a minute. 
All in all, guys, this stuff from Fern Valley Farms is pretty awesome. Now, I gotta say, the smell on all this stuff is not as loud as uh, some of the other stuff I've had from other companies. Now, I'm not sure why that is, okay? Uh, but what it makes up for in lack of being very loud smelling or very pungent smelling, man, the effects are awesome. So on each one of these, I smoked each one on a different day when I had nothing else in my system. It was my first smoke of the day of each one, okay? Four different days. Man, the effects on it were awesome. And I gotta admit, the Sapphire is probably my favorite effect of all of them. I had that slight pressure behind the eyes, guys, and it was just, it, it just put me in such a good mood. Like, it took away some of my pains, but it was more just a mood enhancer. Like, I felt very relaxed and calm. I did feel kind of sleepy with the Sapphire. So I don't know if that's indica-ish feeling, but that's kind of how I felt. Good smoke, kind of sweet on the uh, smoke. No lung expansion with the Sapphire. The lifter was really good. I liked it. Typical lifter effects, uplifting, made me want to be creative. I played some music with this. Uh, the lifter was where I was at. Really liked the lifter. Let's talk about the rise up and the bast. Based. Whatever. All right. The rise up was my favorite of these two. The rise up was better. And again, kind of uplifting. Great effects on this. And the bast based was really well. Uh, neither of these have much of a very significant taste. Uh, as I was smoking, it just kind of smelled like, tasted like smoke. Um, and, and again, not very loud smells. But man, the effects on it were super strong. Very noticeable effects on both of these strains. Uh, I think they're good products. Uh, so definitely go check them out, guys. Fern Valley Farms. You can also go check them out um, on Instagram. But it's fernvalleyfarms.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description. I would say this is some good stuff and it's worth checking out. Uh, I think it's pretty good. I'm not going to say it's the loudest thing I've had because it's not. It's definitely uh, not very loud smelling, but the effects were very nice. Uh, very good smoke. The Sapphire was my absolute favorite. I've never heard or had that strain before, and that was just a pleasant, pleasant smoke. I'm actually going to put this in my hit stash. I'm going to cure it up in a jar, see how the Sapphire is in maybe a month. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But, man, this sapphire was really good, and the, the, the nugs were so dense. I mean, they were just just big old thick, dense nuggets, guys. So definitely go check Fern Valley Farms out. They probably have a bunch of other good strains coming out soon. The season's here, so I'm sure they're coming out with more stuff. Definitely go check them out, guys. Fern Valley Farms. So if you like this video, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe and tell your friends. We're going to be coming at you with a lot more CBD and cannabis product reviews soon. We got lots more hemp flower coming down the line, guys. We got a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, this year is going to be huge, guys. We got some big announcements coming up soon. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to go follow me on Instagram. That's where you're going to check out all the latest, greatest stuff we got going on, what companies we got coming up next. We're doing our Cooking with CBD series coming up very soon, and we got some super big news that we're waiting on some last things to happen, uh, but we're going to be doing it big this year. So stay tuned, guys, and thanks for checking in. And remember, guys, you got to stay positive, you got to stay medicated, and until next time, Hans out.